Hi, my dear pupils! I'm so happy to see you today. I'm Teacher Marian, your grade 4 Math Believe Buddy. Wear your beautiful smile and remember, the best way to learn mathematics is to do mathematics. In today's episode, we will learn about reading and writing numbers in symbols and in words up to 100,000 and compare them using relation symbols. Oh, hi, Mathali Buddies! It's so hot! I need a cold drink! Hi, Teacher Marian! Come and buy our Kulam and juice! Hi, Anna! Yes, please! I really want a cold drink! Please give me one glass of Golaman juice. Sure, teacher. Anna, why are you selling Golaman juice? Teacher, I want to help my mom. I want to buy my school supplies using the money I will earn in my Golaman business. Wow, that's great. It will be a great help to your mom in buying your school supplies this school year. How much money have you earned already? Earned eight hundred sixteen plus ten. I have a total of eight hundred twenty six pesos. Amazing! Can you remember the amount that Anna earned in her Golaman business? Help me say it loudly. Yes, she earned eight hundred twenty six pesos. Anna and Donio, come here. Let's have a game with our math bully buddies. Anna, Tonyo, help me read these numbers. Math bully buddies, help me read these numbers. Number one, 453. Number two, 1907. Number three, 32,450. Number four, 109 and number 5 12,096 Thank you for playing with us my dear Mathbally buddies Teacher Marian look at Anna she looks sad Come let's go and ask why she is sad Anna why are you sad Teacher I have a problem. I can't remember how to read numbers. Oh, we are here. Tonyo and our Mathbally buddies are willing to help you read these numbers. Hop in. Let the adventure begin. We have three magical steps in order to read numbers up to hundred thousands. Let us take 62,453 as an example. Magic step number one. Separate the digits into periods. Let's review the place value chart. There are three rows. Periods, place value, digits. Periods are thousands and units. Under units, there are three place value. Ones, tens, and hundreds. Under thousands, there are three place value. Thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. The place value of three is ones. The place value of five is tens. The place value of four is hundreds. The place value of two is thousands. The place value of six is ten thousands. Magic step number two. From the left, read the number formed by the digits in the thousands period, followed by the name of the period, 62,000. Magic step number three. Do the same with the units period without saying the name of the period, 62,453. Zeros are not read when they are used to hold the place value of non-zero digits. For example, 43,023. 
80,701. Oh, teacher! Now, I understand how to read numbers. I am excited for our next Math Bali activity! And you will have a math exciting activity! Welcome back, Math Bali buddies! Math Bali! Math Bali! Math Bali! Practice time! Always remember, basta kasama si Teacher Marian, kaya yan! I will give you 20 seconds to read the following numbers. Ready? 29,610 12,045 71,327 83,123 11,876 Very good! Teacher Marian, is that, is that you? Yes, it's me! Together with your Mathbali buddies, you have an important task. You need to find three hidden numbers around the playground. You have 30 seconds to find all these numbers and write it on your paper. Ready? Apa, siyempre po! What are the numbers that you have seen around the playground? Six thousand seven hundred fifty six, one hundred forty two, twelve thousand ninety six. What you have written are numbers in standard form. Standard form are numbers written in numerical form or in digits. For example, plate numbers, numbers in the calculator. The number of your house. Dates in the calendar. On the other hand, when the number is spelled out or written in words, it is in the word form. For example, we can see it in check vouchers and other important documents. Mathbali! 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 Practice time! Mathbali buddies, ready? Basta kasama si Teacher Marian? Kaya yan! Show me your thumbs! You will do thumbs up if the number is in standard form and thumbs down if it is in word form. You have 5 seconds to think for your answer. Number 1. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Okay! Thumbs up! Next! Thumbs up or thumbs down? Correct! Thumbs down! Number 3 Thumbs up or thumbs down? Bravo! Thumbs down! Next! Thumbs up or thumbs down? Nice job! Thumbs up! Last number. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Amazing! Thumbs up! Remember, to write numbers up to 100,000 in standard form, we use space to separate the digits into periods or groups of three starting from the right. Let us try to read this number. Okay! 54,876 When reading a number, always begin with the digits in the first period on the left and say the period where the digits are. Do the same with the units period without saying the name of the period. Now, let us write it in word form. Remember, we write the number the same way they are read starting from left to right. So, 54,876 
is written as Have you observed there were hyphenated numbers? Don't forget that numbers from 21 to 99 are hyphenated words except for 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. In writing big numbers, we can use a comma or space to separate the digits into groups of three. We can do this by counting three numbers from the right. Trivia time! Did you know that 4 is the only number that has the same number of letters as its meaning? Mathly, mathly, mathly! Activity time! Pens up, papers up, let me see your happy face. Pens up, papers up, let me see your amazing face. I will give you 10 seconds to answer each number. Mathly buddies, ready? Basta kasama si Teacher Marian. Kaya yan! Write the following number words in standard form. Number 1, 51,242. Number 2, 11,069. Number 3, 38,750. Number 4, 14,018. And number 5, 90,900. Let's check your answer. Next activity. Write the following numbers in words on your paper. Let's check your answer. Number 1. 3,980 Number 2 4,650 Number 3 6,587 Number 4 77,023 And number 5 81,127 Hi, Anna! It seems that you have added one more flavor. Yes, Teacher Marian. I have kulaman flavor and buko pandan flavor. Kindly give me one glass of buko pandan drink. Sure, Teacher. Teacher, can you help me compare what drink is the most favorite of my customers? Sure, Mathly Buddies, hop in! We will help Anna! In one week, there were 88 customers who bought Golaman Juice, while 12 customers bought Buko Pandan Juice. What is the best-selling juice of Anna? Great! Golaman Juice! We can say that 88 is greater than 12. In comparing numbers, we are trying to find out which is bigger and which is smaller. There are three magical steps in comparing two numbers. Magic step number one, align the digits with the same place value. Magic step number two, starting from left, compare the digits in each place value. Magic step number three. The first pair of digits that are of different values will determine which number is greater or less. For example, 
Study the table. The numbers have the same digit on the hundreds place. On the tens place, 9 is bigger than 5. Therefore, 490 is greater than 456. Let us review the symbols in comparing numbers. The less than sign is pointing in the left side and the greater than sign is pointing in the right side. I have here different colors of paper. Let us compare each. Number 1. Yellow and pink. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 yellow papers and 1, 2, 3, 4 pink papers. Which is greater? Yellow. We can say that 6 is greater than 4. We will use the greater than symbol. The pointed part of the arrow is facing the smaller number. Number 2. Green and white. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 green papers. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 white papers. The green papers are less than the white papers. 14 is less than 18. The pointed part of the arrow is facing the smaller number. We can use comparing numbers in different situations. Number 1. In going to the store, your mom asked you to buy cooking oil. There were two prices of different cooking oil, and your mom told you to choose the cheapest price. 